Thank you, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Chairman. You know, we're hearing a lot of feigned outrage from the other side. Um, but I want to point out a, a few things. Number one, it was the president himself who has said over 20 times why this action is illegal. I would invite the Democrats to read his remarks, over 20 different references to it. Number two, they talk about prosecutorial discretion, um, that this is okay. But as I understand it, that you, you, you have that discretion when you've run out of money and maybe you can't implement a finer point of a law, something that you are prosecuting. It doesn't mean you the law. I would invite the Democrats who think that we disproportionately pick on this president, I would invite them to look in the 1950s case during the Truman administration in which uh, President Truman nationalized the steel business by executive order in order to avoid a strike. It went to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court found on a six to three vote that you could not change the law as of such magnitude by executive order. And that was not a case of, oh, we're picking on poor little Harry Truman. It was a case of standing up for the United States Constitution. I would also like to invite the Democrats to look at the court cases or the lawsuit that 17, case, 17 states have now joined in saying that the president has violated Article 2, Section 3, the part of the Constitution that talks about taking care to execute the laws, which this president seems to think is a pick-and-choose operation run out of his political office. I would also invite the Democrats to go to Central America and talk to so many of the immigrants that I have. I have been to Honduras. I've been to El Salvador. I've been to Guatemala. I've talked to people. And one of our earlier speakers says, if you think there's some sort of magnet that they come here because we changed the law, you're out of your mind. I would say go to Central America and talk to the folks. That's exactly why they come, because they get the word that it's easier to come here under those circumstances. Do I have 30 more seconds? Mr. Speaker, I'm pleased to yield additional 30 seconds. The gentleman is recognized for 30 seconds. So for those who think that relaxing our laws does not create a magnet, they need to go to Central America and talk to the people who would be taking advantage of this. Finally, let me say this about leadership. You know, in split government with three branches, equal branches, you don't get what you want. But leadership is pulling together the coalitions to talk to people and say, you know, what part of can we agree on and what can we do about it? That's what leadership is about. The president has that opportunity to show leadership now that he's going to have a new Congress and a new Senate to work with. The way to, to get things done is to reach out and work with people and not to be in your face against them. Thank you very much.